Hey guys, Kevin Stearns here, Pacific Fab, Tilden Motorsports. We just got in uh, some new product that we're gonna start carrying in our store. Um, really excited about this. Uh, Energy is the company. Uh, we do a lot of import stuff uh, in the past, uh, car related stuff, but um, you know us, we're the Ultra 4 guys, the off-road guys, and we thought, hey, what a great mix of product that would work well um, in both classifications, import tuner cars, race cars, uh, a lot of drift car stuff that they do right now. And uh, I actually met up with them at SEMA, saw their product line, talked to them, um, was really intrigued by what they have going on. So um, I teamed up with them and we became a dealer. Uh, so you can get all your energy product here at the Tilton Motorsports Pacific Fab. Um, give us a call. We'll start getting it on our, in our online store. Um, we'll be doing some stocking orders and getting some stuff so you can come see it and feel it. Uh, but I wanted to show you what they sent me. Um, this is all going to go on our 4502 race car. Really cool. So uh, let's start off with the seat. So um, we, uh, we were running a traditional suspension style seat that you would uh, you'd see in a typical off-road racer in our, in our race car. Gives you a lot of, uh, they use a paracord, parachute cord underneath the foam, absorb some of the impacts. Um, but there's been a major shift in the last few years and everybody's going with a hard shell seat. Um, and so we actually switched to another brand of hard shell seats recently, built all the mounts out and everything. Um, but they are a little bit wide. Um, I've been uh, on a little bit of a regimen, getting my health in shape. So I, I need to get something that's a little bit tighter and narrower. Um, I was able to sit in these seats uh, at SEMA uh, and I just fell in love with them. So um, some of the unique features, obviously, is this is a, a hard shell seat. So um, this is a, a fiberglass reinforced hard shell seat. Um, you can see it's actually got like a little star, um, real ergonomic, real, real nice shape to the shell itself, uh, which is going to support us. Uh, and, and so these are SFI, uh, FIA rated seats actually. Um, so these are meant for racing um, and have a FIA certification, which is a, a really a, a plus for me because uh, I've been big on safety this year. Safety is uh, one of the things I'm really, health and safety, you know, we can, we can win races later, but health and safety is critical. So uh, real quick, some of the things I liked about it was uh, these are removable for cleaning. Um, they have a little zipper on the backside for taking the pads off. Um, you can adjust them. Uh, it gives you nice leg support underneath. This little back bolster, same thing. Um, unzips, uh, you can clean the covers on them. We're getting real muddy sometimes in Ultra 4, uh, but that's gonna give you some good lower back support as well. Um, just a, a really nice seat, comes with seat brackets, the works. So um, check this stuff out from Energy. Um, they also sent me another box of stuff here. Uh, this is like Christmas morning to me when I get this stuff and I enjoy opening it up and I wanna share it with you guys. <clears throat> so most of the stuff is gonna be safety related. Um, safer seat, comfort's important, but safety is critical. So uh, this year, King of the Hammers, something that's different is uh, we have to wear gloves. It's not even an option anymore. Um, I've heard rumors of disqualifications if we're not wearing gloves and the gloves have to have a fire rating of a 3.3. Um, Energy's got some great gloves. Um, I, I, in fact, this will be the first time I get to try a pair on. So let me slip this thing on, but right out of the box, they got like a leather suede palm, 3.3 uh, spec right there. You can see it, SFI. Um, good fit. They got a nice closure right here, so you can kind of tie it up, keep that tight. Um, you, you can wear your suit the, over the top of it, or it looks like there's enough room in the bell to have your race suit come down inside it. So, um, nice, good glove. We'll have to see how it feels on the, on the steering wheel. So, really stoked with those. Nice product. Again, NRG, check that out. So, what is this? Seat belts. Okay. So, again, uh, as with the gloves that are mandatory in, in Ultra 4 racing, we have to replace our belts every couple of years. Um, the belts I have in the car, uh, they're, they're in really great shape. Um, and one of the things I liked about the belts I have in the car 
is the, the padded shoulder harnesses. Um, and so I did notice that the Energy also offers a, a real nice padded shoulder harness. Um, and that's gonna be really critical for the long hours we're in the car. Uh, endurance racing, I mean, comfort is king. At just about any racing, um, drag racing, you know, maybe some auto crossing, you're in the car for a couple minutes, not a big deal. Uh, we're in the car all day at times uh, and, and getting bounced around. So um, the padded shoulder straps was something that was real big, important to me. Um, also has the uh, uh, breast plate uh, shoulder strap connection in the middle. Uh, my other belts have that too. Real nice pull down straps. You know, you're gonna get a good pull on each side, getting yourself snug. Um, I could go on and on about the, like the proper setup, how these things get mounted is really critical as far as the shoulder height and everything. Um, I could spend a whole video making doing that, but um, these are these are awesome. We're really pumped um, for these. These are also uh, SFI rated um, per the uh, date. You know, they're date coded, so again, they age out. Um, I'll probably move my existing set to a free runner or a toy or something because there's nothing wrong with them. Um, but they, these guys at Ultra Four and any good racing sanction body. Um, they're going to want you to be safe and uh, the best way to ensure that is to make sure that we're replacing our equipment. Uh, we can also, we can't do cam locks in the, in the belts. They have to be latch locks. So I was really glad to see that the energy had that um, real bright color on the pole so we can get out and uh, uh, in a case of emergency really quickly, uh, really highly identifiable. Um, again, poles, nice poles on here. Um, with the energy logo, just a real nice piece. So really pumped on that as well. Safety, you, can, you can't spend enough money on safety. Um, real nice packaging from these guys too. Um, no, no holding back on, on making stuff look nice. Um, let's see what else. Another set of seat belts. There's two of each. Let's so put those there. Um, let's see if those for last. So to go along with those driving gloves, um, got a steering wheel set up from them. Um, when we moved our seats last time, we uh, we moved them in a way that moved me further away from the steering wheel. So I don't know if you guys can see in the video, this is a, an offset wheel and I think it's a three inch offset. Um, and that's just about, I think we moved the seat back about two and a half inches. So. When I'm in the car, my arms now are kind of here and I want to be here. I want to have that, that almost 90 degree bend in the arm. Um, that's important for control, comfort. When you're out here, you have less control. When I'm here, I have more control. So um, I talked it over with the guys at Energy. Great crew over there. Those guys are really on top of it. Um, spec the a steering wheel. This is a suede steering wheel uh, with a hard, excuse me, hard anodized center. Um, the yellow stripe I like because when we're pounding through the rocks and through the desert, if I'm going straight and I noticed this is offset out of the corner of my eye, because again, we're focused, we're, we're looking out, not just feet in front of us, yards and, and hundreds of yards sometimes trying to predict what's coming at speed. Um, and if I see out of the corner of my eye, my steering wheel is not centered and I'm going straight, it gives me an indication that something's wrong in the steering system, a tie rod's bent, maybe a Heim's loose loose bolt um, and it kind of gives us a, a little update um, so um, genuine leather they give you this nice little suede patch it's a real soft suede uh, setup um, I'm just in love with this guy's stuff These, this company makes just really solid stuff um, doesn't feel like it has any flex to it which when we're pounding that's where it's going to be really important so again this is all crossover stuff from uh, the drift car scene street car scene um, but I saw their product and I was like, man, that, that's durable stuff. So we're pumped on that. Now this has a six bolt, uh, steering wheel hub. Um, I think our existing stuff is five bolt. Um, so I think what we're going to be doing and, and what we'll find in here, uh, probably is, uh, is a adapter hub. And I think that's what this is. So this one is for off-road use only as a short hub. So I could have gained, I could have gone with a flat wheel and gain some distance closer to me with a hub extension. Um, I want, actually, I feel like the dish in the wheel makes the, the wheel a little bit stronger, kind of like, um, you know, a, a 
if you have a flat piece of plate and you put a bead roll in it or something, the dish and the forming of the dish actually creates strength. So um, I've bent all my last steering wheels. They, they, they don't last very long at all. So this hub is a, is a really unique little short hub. Um, and I'll have to have to get with them on how it installs. They were telling me about it. Um, I think there's another piece that this goes into. And I know this is the part that welds on. So this part welds onto the car, onto the steering column shaft. And they actually give you this little level that comes with it, okay? And there's a machine spot on the back of this. And I believe you set that on there so you can find true up and down straight center before you weld the car on, weld it onto the steering column in the race car. And that way when the hub goes on, the steering wheel is always in the same location. Um, they actually use, instead of splines, they use these detent balls. Um, and it looks like I need to order a hub, something I must have overlooked, um, that'll index onto there. Um, but uh, this will be a great addition, um, getting our steering wheel on and off really quickly, and then having it be in a fixed position. So we're not guessing which spline. Yeah, and that we do that all the time. We'll put the, car, the steering wheel, we'll climb in the car, get our belts on, our, our pumpers on, our helmets on, our intercoms on. Um, I mean, we're getting so much stuff suited up that we go to stick the steering wheel on, we'll just stick it on. But if the wheels were like this in the pits and I stick the steering wheel on straight and I pull out to, to stage for a race, um, I'm always pulling the steering wheel off and trying to find center. So um, this being indexed in one direction um, has two advantages. A, it's always on center and that's critical. Uh, but B, these balls give a real positive feel um, where the spline quick releases uh, have a tendency to allow the wheel to rock back and forth a few degrees, which, um, you know, we're always trying to have like the most positive feel with the, with the hub itself. So um, again, this is stainless steel, super high quality, um, really impressed with all their products. There's one more last little cool trick in here. Um, it's not gonna make us any faster, uh, might make us look cooler. Um, we have a, a winter style shifter or a, our car style shifter and uh, I thought it would just be cool to put a uh, instead of the plastic knob that's on it this is a uh, uh, little billet knob and this is what energy is known for again this will these will work in your tuner cars your drift cars and, and I thought hey why not get one that you can stick on the uh, on the old winter shifter and it comes with all the adapters needed We're gonna test this stuff. This stuff works really good and we're happy with it. We'll probably outfit the, our new UTV that we're gonna be racing this year. Uh, we'll do the same stuff in the UTV. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got the energy logo right there, just a piece of tape holding it down. They do give you a shift pattern if you wanna put a shift logo on it. Just a nice chunk of aluminum. I'm assuming it's 50-52, um, three set screws. And we'll put that on our winter shifter and we'll be gating through the shifters. So um, again, Energy Innovations, I know they're coming out, they're wanting to do more in the off-road segment, uh, but they've already been killing it in the uh, on-road segment, so give them a shot, look them up, uh, tell them that uh, you saw stuff from us, and give us a call, order the stuff from us. We'd love to uh, let you come down, you can come sit in these seats, you can come sit in some of the ones we'll get. Um, we'll go through the catalog with you and help you pick what fits your car, and truck, or off-road beast, and uh, we'll have a good time. Thanks for watching.